key to any good cello is you want to make sure you have ripe or fresh fruit. Very important. So this pineapple is delicious. The good thing was it has a twin. The twin has already been cut up right here, which is kind of fun. I've smelled it. It smells delicious. Basically, we have our fresh pineapple. And obviously, it's cut up. You can cut it as large or as small as you want. And this goes to any fruit. It just depends on how much contact the fruit is going to have with the alcohol to allow it to macerate. So as we're going through this, we'll take this. If it slips out, I'm sorry, and goes right in there. So we're going to add this vodka in there. We make sure that our fruit is nice and laid out. Take our vodka, mix it around, make sure it's covering all the fruit. You can always take some pineapples out if you'd like. We've got this here, we've got it done, we've got the lid, and after that, guess what happens? Nothing. We put it away in a dark place for 21 days. We're at the second stage of the process. We've let our cello marinate, macerate, whatever term you want to use, for 21 days ideally, in a very dark place, it wasn't disturbed, and then this is what we get. The cool thing is now, once we stick our noses in this, it smells delicious. Sugar and the alcohol have swapped places, basically. The alcohol goes in, the sugar comes out, and it really leads into this beautiful, amazing collection of togetherness. In here, I've got about seven and a half cups of vodka. So ideally, I use about seven and a half cups of, of sugar water. We're just, we're going to measure out seven, well, I'm gonna do seven today. I'm do seven cups of sugar water. And it's kind of fun because you can personalize this. You can add in whatever flavors you want, Depending, you want to throw some cinnamon there, make a cinnamon simple syrup. You want to go a little vanilla bean, get a little, a little more fragrant, and that really allows you that flexibility. You can just let it go if you want. You can stir it, you can move it around. The beautiful thing is, take this, take that, and guess what? We're done, we're finished, that's it. Well, not exactly. We get to wait another 21 days. This is the best part, because guess what? The cello's finished. So, we've waited our 42 days. If you don't want to wait your 42 days, that's okay. You can go 14 and 14. I like 42. Smell that, it smells delightful. It's great, it's fragrant. And the cool thing is now, we bottle it. So once we take all this alcohol out, we, we strain it, very important. I strain it to whites. Coffee filter will be a little too fine. Cheesecloth works really great. Any kitchen um, strainer works good. Make sure to do it two times. It's okay if it has a little bit of pulp left in it. That shows people that you're actually using real fruit, which is kind of cool. That's it, that's cello. Super straightforward, very simple, very direct, and guess what, it's fun.